be on high alert because uh, mpox is a reality here. Um, like you must have heard from the Minister of Health, cases have been identified in the country. And uh, even our region, as Jinja region, we are not spared. We, we are at risk as well for a number of reasons. One, there is a lot of movement. People move here and there. You may be with someone today, but when that person has been hundreds of kilometers away in the last uh, few days or so. So it is important that people know that uh, Mpox is a reality. It can affect anyone. It can come in. So it is upon us as community members to keep ourselves safe. And uh, the good thing, we as health workers, we know how to prevent this disease. Uh, one of the best ways is to avoid very close contact, what I may describe as person-to-person -person contact with these uh, cases, or these people who are sick or who are suffering from mpox. The other way would be for us to wash hands as much as possible. Yeah, like you already know, hand washing is a very, very useful tool that we use to prevent many diseases. Um, when we're also caring for patients who have mpox, we take care of the beddings, clothing, in a particular way they should be washed, dried, and uh, those who are not sick should keep away from from these linen or garments. And another way, and this is also quite interesting, mpox is primarily an animal disease. So uh, we advise people to avoid eating some wild game, monkeys, for instance, squirrels, yeah, and some other small animals like rats and mice. So uh, these are the ones that usually pass them to the humans. And from there, we can have humans passing it to each other. Yeah, so all in all, I would like to say that if you suspect that somebody has mpox, reach out to the nearest health facility. We know what to do. For instance, us here in this hospital, we have prepared a place where we can receive and care for these patients. Our health workers are trained. We have senior people here who are very experienced. They can receive you and care for you well. Um, the other thing maybe I wish to say is that uh, people should know about this disease. Don't fear it so much, but you should know what to do in terms of washing hands, in terms of avoiding very close contact with people who are sick, like I've already said. Uh, avoiding the linen of people who are unwell. Yeah, but the bottom line is inform the responsible health workers and they help you to understand whether the patient has mpox or not. Yeah, we have trained health workers who, who know what to do when they get a case of mpox. We have trained our laboratory health workers to take samples. They know how to take samples. And uh, we even have a system where we bring these samples to our labs and even refer to more advanced labs here in the country. So I can say with confidence that when we get a, a suspected case, we take off uh, samples for testing and we take them to our labs here. Usually within three days latest, we should have the results. Yeah. So our labs are equipped and our health workers have the protection, they have the skills and they know what to do. In fact, we have trained very many health workers across the, the, the districts in the region. So uh, what matters 
for the members of the public is for you to reach over to us when you suspect that uh, somebody is unwell. It is true, we have got some cases in the region. You may have heard that Mayuge had some cases, yes, and uh, they are stable, they have improved, and we are in touch with our colleagues at the ministry who are supporting us on how to uh, respond to this outbreak. Yes, and uh, even as I talk now, uh, in Mayuge district, there is a district task force meeting taking place. So they are trying to see how best they can tackle this uh, disease. So it is a reality, it can happen, and it is with us.